Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing V-Series videos I've been doing for the while. I'll go over there, try food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff. That Tell them I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. i gotta, I got to get through some things because I forgot to do some things. <laughs> we'll get into that. Uh, folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside the truck. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's a new one. It's my Above Snake shirt. Which, if you're unfamiliar with the band Above Snakes, well, so was I up until uh, a little less than a week ago. Uh, these folks were one of the opening acts for a band called A Killer's Confession that I'm a big fan of. And I really didn't know what to think about them. In fact, because they had their banner, like they had like a banner for their band, you know, it was set up in the back. And I just thought that that was the first band's banner. And I was like, oh, it's weird that the first band is leaving their banner on stage for all these other sets. But it was, you know, whatever, man. And I was like, oh, no, no, okay, different band. But no, these guys are actually really awesome. Uh, if I were going to go over there and sort of compare them in any light, they gave me off Dope vibes, which if you're familiar with the band Dope, you know, think that sort of shock rock kind of new metal style. I really enjoyed their stuff. They were super cool after the set and everything. We talked a little bit. And uh, so I picked up some merch. I also got a couple of videos from their set. Just saying, if you want to check them out, they are on my channel as well. I have a whole uh, playlist of just concert videos and stuff, so... But whatever. Anyway, what am I reviewing for you folks? What are we doing? Why did I forget stuff? Well, I'd intended to do a bunch of more, ho like, Halloween-ish themed things leading up to Halloween. Uh, but I just, I just spaced, man. Like, I, you know, and I got some stuff in there. This one isn't particularly Halloween-ish, but it's, it's still, you know, it's definitely fall-oriented. So I think I'm okay with this one. Because, folks, we're reviewing, boom, it's apple cider, but it's not just any apple cider. Let's, can we get a thing? Oh, God. It is River Ridge, Great Lakes, Great Flavors, Salted Caramel, Fresh Apple Cider. This sounds super good. I love apple cider. I'm a huge, huge whore for apple cider. Love it. It's one of my favorite things in the world. When ever fall kicks around, it becomes a pretty much a... A go-to drink for me. I mean, yes, you can get cider all year round, but it's the best during freaking fall, damn it. So, I've had plenty of River Ridge stuff. They tend to be sold at Walmart. I'm not sure if they are specifically a Walmart brand or how that whole thing works. I'm guessing they're other places, but I've always gotten them at Walmart. And they have normal stuff. They also have pumpkin spice, and then now they have salted caramel. And, yeah. So, let's try out some... Let's try out some cider. I had to do this now because otherwise I was just going to end up drinking it. It's been in my fridge for like two weeks and it was like, just drink it now. And I'm like, I want to review it. So let's open it up. Ooh. You can smell the caramel. Like right off the bat. I'm hoping for basically like a candy apple type of drink here. So let's give it a go. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. I feel like for this, and I think they... I think they did this intentionally, I think, to sort of play into that idea of the candy apple kind of flavoring. Because it feels like they left a little bit more tartness on the cider part. I mean, cider always has a bite. Good cider always has a bite. But with the River Ridge stuff, it's typically, you know, it's pretty smooth. It's got a little extra oomph to it, but it's not, you know, with this, I'm feeling like, you know, maybe they just use more green apples or, you know, I, I don't fucking know. I don't know how they do their stuff. But I do feel like they might have gone over there and focused a little bit more on leaving some of that tartness in to counteract with the sweetness. And you folks, if you watch my channel, you know, I love you know, uh, contrasting flavors, so, you know, it just works, I'm a fan, I 
And I do get the salted caramel aspect of it. I think it would have been interesting. Thing is, is that, I mean, salted caramel is cool. I like it well enough on certain things. But it's definitely not something that needs to be in everything. I just want to point that out. Um, what was it? What's it Milky Way? Maybe it was Milky Way? I want to say it was Milky Way. I think Milky Way had like a salted caramel candy bar like a couple years ago. And as much as I love Milky Way, as much as I do enjoy some salted caramel, that was not a good mix. In this instance, I would have been interested to try it with just a normal caramel. I get that the salted caramel kind of brings out some of the extra flavor and stuff. So I get what they're doing with it. But I, I would have been interested to, to try just a straight caramel apple uh, concoction. Because the salted aspect, you know, you think, again, I'm thinking more, uh, uh, you know, like candy apples, you know. And with that being the case, it's like, I don't typically think salted caramel in those instances, just straight caramel. But it still works really nicely. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad combination. It's fun to drink. I like it. I like the fact that there is a, it blends, but then there's also a stark divide in the flavor profile. There's a point where the apple is doing its thing, and then there's a point where the caramel kind of takes over. And again, there's still a blended aspect, but there's definitely a, a very distinct sort of line that occurs while you're drinking it. Um, it's good. I mean, River Ridge has... You know, solid apple cider. I've never had anything to complain about with their stuff. This continues along that path. It's... Now, here's the only point of contention for me, really. Is that it's cool. I like that it's available as an option. I like that they're doing more things with apple cider. Thing is, realistically, apple cider is perfect. Like, you don't really have to fuck with it at all. It's, it's essentially a perfect beverage. Um... Because for me, it's like, would I get this over normal apple cider? No, I wouldn't. I like apple cider just as it is. I think it's, again, just pretty much a perfect drink. With this, it's a good drink. I like having it as an option. I appreciate the contrasting flavors there. And again, it is a little bit reminiscent of sort of a candy apple flavor, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it's, yeah... It's one of those things where it's not it's not beating out the OG. But I do like it. The apple aspect still tastes really nice. And like I said, the caramel aspect, it's a nice hit. And it's very, it's not overdone. It's distinct, but it's not overdone. And with caramel, you can definitely overdo it. So, I mean, for me personally, yeah, I'm down with it. Now, that said, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I'm going to go with yes and yes, but with asterisks. Like I said, I do like this drink. I would get it again, but it would never replace just straight apple cider for me. For me, if it's fall and you've got apple cider drinks available, I'm going for the, for the classic uh, apple cider. This... Again, it's there's an option. It's something I could see grabbing every now and again, but it wouldn't be my go-to. By that same token, if I'm recommending it to people, I, I think you should definitely try it because I do think it's a tasty drink, and you know it's it's uh, it's familiar tasting. You know, even though it's in kind of a drink format, that candy apple taste, it's you know it's kind of cool. I like that, but I think as just a straight drink. I still, again, I still think the, the original apple cider just, just wins out for me personally. But I do suggest trying it. It's it's neat. Now, all that said, folks, five things before you get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, money, money, rest of your month, spend the rest of your folks. You know, yourselves are truly apple cider tastic rest of your life. Uh, because, I, folks, apple cider is just fantastic. So, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not as possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But, what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me, I know it. I live it. I'm out there with you in it. And even, you know, being in wonderful fall weather with delicious apple cider, life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit sometimes. It's not always, uh, 
not always the greatest thing in the world to have to deal with. It's important, though, that when we deal with said situations in our lives, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe, like me, you're a big apple cider fan, and you're like, oh boy, oh boy, apple cider. Maybe you've got some favorite brands of apple cider. Go over there and get, throw me some suggestions in the in the comments section. Be like, hey, I like this brand, and blah, 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 blah. You know, just write me a little, little apple cider thesis thing, you know, as to why you like the apple cider, what it means to you, how you intend to go about your future with the apple cider, you know, what have you. Um, you know, maybe I'll go over there and try some for the show if I can get it my whole or get a get a hold of it. Um, or conversely, I mean, you can just enjoy the apple cider without the homework. But you know, I'm always up for apple cider recommendations. Bye. <laughs>